Hey guys, I wanted to follow up on a video that I put up earlier concerning currencies or what currencies are. And it spoke about opening a currencies account. But in this video, I want to speak about something that's not as much known, which is that you can actually invest in currencies or buy currencies through your brokerage account, through your stock account. So firstly, let's look at different types of currencies that you can get, which are the U.S. dollar, Japanese yen, euro, the Swiss franc, the British pound, the Australian dollar, and the Canadian dollar. And there are others out there as well. But in that video that I dropped in the channel earlier, I'm sure you could find it if you look through the channel, there is a video called What Are Currencies? And Forex. Forex is short for foreign exchange. And there are people who trade currencies and make money from currencies. But you'll understand more about currencies if you find this video and look at it. But we want to look at just a few of the ETFs that are out there, exchange traded funds that are out there for currencies that you can buy. And one of them that we have is the Invesco DB, which is the US dollar. Now, this chart is a little outdated, but notice that we're a few weeks behind here. Um, but notice that the US dollar was up here. It drops considerably that week. So here's the US dollar. And with the ETF, it's at $27.15 a share. Then we have the Japanese yen. And the Japanese yen is at $65.10 a share. We have the euro. And the euro is at $101.67 a share. The euro is actually a stronger currency than ours. We have the Swiss franc. And the Swiss franc is at $103.86 a share. Then we have the British pound, also stronger than us. The British pound is at $122.30 a share. Britain was actually part of the European Union. However, they, even when they were part of the European Union, which they are no longer, that was what Brexit was about, they still didn't share the same currency. They still had their own British pound. And then the Australian dollar, they are at $67.33 a share. Oh, and we have the Canadian dollar. They're at $73.77 a share. So you may be able to find more if you do a search for them, but those are the currencies that I have that trade in ETFs on the stock market. Um, so like I said, if you um, do some searching, you may be able to find a few more. And if you are partial to a particular currency because you believe it's going to go up, you it's not only an option of messing with currencies to get that currency because currencies move very fast. It's usually a daily chart or it's less. You're not holding it very long. But... You can actually, in stocks, get an ETF for those currencies.
So just wanted to explain that to you guys. Look forward to speaking to you in the next video. Have a great day.